Now at five, a confessed school killer on trial for his murderous rampage. Those lucky to escape with their lives. I got hit. And during that time, I went under a table. Reliving the horrors. We walked over two bodies. Of that deadly day. I saw um, Alex Shackner passed away uh, over his desk, trying to take his like final breaths. Day two of this life or death trial had survivors on the stand. Hello and welcome everyone. In addition to that tough testimony, the jury spent the day looking at surveillance video from the school as Nicholas Cruz stalked his victims. 7 News reporter Nicole Insalata is at the courthouse and has the day's developments from Fort Lauderdale now. Nicole. Yeah, Craig, let's tell you a little bit more about that video. That was video that was shot by surveillance cameras, motion-activated surveillance cameras inside the freshman building at MSD. And lawyers say that it, it can be a little bit difficult, not just because of the graphic nature of it, but also because of the dust that came down from the ceiling tiles with the impact of all of the gunshots, and that was obscuring the cameras. So it was a little bit difficult to see every little move. But still, it was something that the prosecution felt that the jury needed to see. The defense did argue against it, but they didn't go anywhere with that particular argument. So the judge did let the jurors see it on small monitors, and it was silent. So it was entirely silent in the courtroom as they watched. Black fans had a rifle in the sentence. Chris McKenna encountered Nicholas Cruz in the stairwell of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School freshman building just before 2.30, February 14th, 2018. He said to me, get out of here. Things are about to get bad. If uh, you saw the person that was in the stairwell with you, would you be able to identify him? Yes, sir. You see him in the courtroom today? I do. I want the glasses on. He pointed to Nicholas Cruz. McKenna says he immediately ran to find coach Aaron Feiss in the parking lot, who would ultimately die in the massacre that was about to happen. You know, just trying not to think this is real. William Olson and Alexander DeWitt were in English class together that day in the freshman building. Bullets flew into their classroom. While I'm laying in front of the desk, I realize there's blood all over me. I don't really still like realize what's going on. And uh, I just realized I was in danger. I looked straight ahead of me and I saw um, Alex Shackner passed away uh, over his desk. And I saw his body, not spasming, but more like trying to take his like final breaths. Alex Torrette, too, was injured, but at that point, he did not know. Across the hall, his own brother, Nick, had been killed. This testimony, prosecutors hope, lead jurors to sentence Cruz to death, the defense arguing for life in prison. At one point, however, a long stretch of silence in the courtroom. Off-camera, jurors using individual monitors watch surveillance video of the rampage from inside the school. As the video, which had no sound, played for the jurors, the victims' families waited, some appearing to look for some reaction, just silence. A stark contrast to the scene in Dara Haas's English class where Alex Schachter, Elena Petty, and Alyssa Alhadef died. It was hazy and you could smell the, the, the sulfur from the guns and debris was flying across the room and the students were crying and we just tried our best. And a little bit more about that video. Those who have watched it say that there's also a section where it looks like a teacher protects his students in an alcove, protects them from being shot, and then guides them to the stairwell. And that many times when Nicholas Cruz went back to shoot someone that he had already shot, that he did it without even breaking a stride. Now, we also heard testimony with these students talking about hiding behind filing cabinets and trying to get away from the windows. We'll hear more about that coming up at 6 o'clock. But for now, reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Nicole Insalata, 7 News. And we'll remind you, Nicole will be providing live updates from inside the courtroom this week. You can see her posts on our TikTok page at WSVN 7 News.